to senior citizen salaries and discounts. Private establishments employing senior citizens shall be entitled to an additional deduction from their gross income equivalent to 15% of their total amount paid as salaries and wages to senior citizens provided that the following conditions are met. First, that employment shall have to continue for a period of at least six months and the annual taxable income for the senior citizen does not exceed the poverty level. So meaning, if the company uh, employs senior citizen, the company has to enjoy the following rights. Kapag nag uh, sweldo sila sa senior citizen, the salaries of the senior citizens will be deductible from their operating expenses if they are reporting itemized plus another 15% special deduction. Okay? Another, the discounts granted by the seller of qualified goods and services exclusively for the use of senior citizens as provided by RA 9257 are classified as special itemized deductions, uh, new BIR form 1701. The statutory rates of senior citizens' discounts are enumerated as follows. Ito na. For goods and services, the senior citizen discount is 20%. For water electricity consumption registered in the name of senior citizen, we have 5%. If the water and electricity consumption does not exceed 30 cubic meters and 100 kilowatt hours respectively, and for electricity, water, telephone consumption, we have 50%. Discount if consumed by a senior citizen center administered by the government of domestic or domestic NGOs. Ayan. For the example, senior corporation employs senior citizens at a minimum wage showing the following reports during the year. Gross sales, 5 million. Cost of sales, 3 million. Salaries expense paid to senior citizens, 500,000 salaries expense paid to other workers 200,000 and senior citizens discount 10,000 to compute for the special itemized deduction the following will be incentive to senior citizen salary from the senior citizens salaries of 500,000 times 15% we've got 75,000 Another senior citizen discount, 10,000 for a total of 85,000 pesos special itemized deduction. For free legal assistance, a lawyer or professional partnerships rendering actual free legal assistance as defined by the Supreme Court shall be entitled for an allowable deduction from the gross income, the amount that could have been collected for the actual free legal expenses or services rendered or up to 10% of the gross income derived from the actual performance of the legal profession. So whichever is lower. Okay? The actual free legal services wherein contemplated shall be exclusive of the minimum 60-hour mandatory legal and services rendered to indigent litigants as required under the rule of mandatory legal services for practicing lawyers under bar matter number 2012 issued by the Supreme Court. Okay. For the example, Attorney Abogado, a practicing lawyer, rendered a 300 hours rendering free legal assistance to indigent litigants. Attorney Gado's legal fee per hour is 5000 If his actual professional fee during the year amounted to 10 million, how much is the special deduction allowed to be deducted from his gross professional income? The allowable special itemized deduction for Attorney Gado's free legal assistance is computed as follows. We'll begin with the professional fee per hour. The professional fee is 5000 per hour. You're going to multiply it by the voluntary hours rendered for free legal assistance. So in the problem, the attorney rendered 300 hours. We have to deduct the 60-hour mandatory legal and services rendered, which is 60 hours. 300 minus 60 is equal to 240 hours. 
multiply it by the professional fee per hour. Therefore, we have an estimated professional fee given for free amounts to 1,200,000. Okay, so but we have to, uh, uh, to solve for the other uh, solution for us to know which is lower. Okay, we have to get the actual professional fee, which is 10 million, multiply it by 10% incentive rate, so we are having 1 million. So therefore, which is the lower? We are going to uh, declare 1 million as the allowed special deduction.